Well, good day and welcome to an ep another episode of QNCCA. This is episode 11 and uh, we're going to do a shift. We're not going to focus on, which may be a sigh of relief for many of you watching today, we're going to avoid talking about COVID. So that'll be the last time I mention that uh, throughout this web series, at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, and as I'd mentioned in the past couple episodes, we really want to kind of focus in on one topic specific. Uh, so today I'm thrilled to be joined by uh, a winner in London, Ontario, Heritage Renovations with uh, Shannon and James. And uh, before we get into, you know, sort of the topic du jour of what we're going to be discussing today, I'm going to turn it over to Shannon and James to introduce themselves and their company. Okay, well, thank you so much for having us, Jeff. We're such a proud CCA winner. I'm happy to be in your uh, company today. So thank you for having us. Um, our company, Heritage Renovations, we have been founded in 1990. So this is actually our 30th year in business. We are an award-winning uh, window and door installation company. We service Southwestern Ontario. We do a combination of commercial works. We work with organizations like government, uh, restoration companies, property management organizations, and the like. Um, and then we also work with residential customers, so people that are trying to make their you know, homes into what their dream home would be. Um, we segregate our business into four main areas. We do supply and install for residential and commercial. We do supply only, so for people that are contractors themselves that want to purchase, we do have the top rated brands here in our facility um, and access to exclusive brands that are exclusive to us as well. So contractors can purchase from us directly. And then we also do service. Um, so if we have a customer that perhaps something that doesn't need to be replaced, um, they can avoid the expense of that and we can have our expert service team be able to rehabilitate, rehabilitate something that is older um, and bring it back to its glory and get some more years of use out of it. Um, so our company, we're you know proud family owned company. Um, we've grown the company significantly um, over the past several years. Um, we have the largest facility um, in our area and the largest showroom of 3,500 square feet in all of Ontario. So for us, we really are trying to provide a very aspirational shopping experience, let people physically see some of the things that they love in some of these beautiful magazine spreads and be able to really visualize what that would look like in their own home. Um, my background before coming to Heritage is I worked in consulting in Toronto um, at one of the top consulting companies. I specialized in doing small to medium sized organizations, um, creating best practices, that type of thing. And then I moved on to working with a Fortune 500 company where I was in senior leadership. Um, I managed my department for all of Canada. Um, and I'll let James introduce himself and then how he came to be at Heritage and married that all together. Excellent. Great. So my background has been in fostering trade skills. Uh, you know, I, I really enjoy taking something that's broken, making it newer, better, stronger. Um, I have a strong background in general contracting and was able to take that experience and develop it over the years and transition more into a leadership teaching uh, and planning role. Uh, so that's what I've, I've done previous and transitioned that into uh, my work here at Heritage, um, where I not only lead and, and manage uh, a lot of our field operations, uh, but I've also worked in course development to train and develop uh, new, new members of the industry and also uh, branch out into other sectors of the industry as well. Very cool. So there's, you know, great backgrounds and you covered a lot of services that you guys, uh, you guys cover. So thanks for, thanks for sharing that. Um, and now I'll kind of get to, you know, sort of uh, why I was thrilled that you guys uh, reached out to say you'd be a willing participant uh, uh, in our web series. Um, so some great backgrounds, uh, heritage renovations. Uh, now I had mentioned that uh, to you guys that I, I knew Heritage Renovations before you knew Heritage Renovations. Uh, Heritage Renovations was a Consumer Choice Award winner for a number of years uh, under a certain ownership. And then the two of you, and I believe your father, it's a family business, came to purchase uh, Heritage Renovations. Um, I love the story of local kids uh, coming home. Um, so, and, I, and I've really enjoyed uh, being partnered with Heritage Renovations at Consumer Choice Award for all the years that we have but especially enjoy seeing all, everything that you guys have done and the other, you know, the level that you've taken uh, this company over the past number of years. Uh, so you mentioned all the services, you mentioned your background, but everyone loves a local kid come home story. So I'd love to hear, you know, I'd love for you to share a little bit more about how you guys came to be and, uh, and the business was purchased. 
Absolutely. I mean, we have a tremendous family. We have a very close knit family, so we love talking about it. It's a family business. Uh, we work uh, very, very closely and well together. So, um, you know, relating to the business, uh, we were always raised, Shannon and I, and, and our family, to have a strong entrepreneurial passion. Um, business ownership uh, through leadership experiences, again, you know, from my father, from my mother, was always translated down to us. So we had that really as a, a bedrock of the foundation when we started our higher level of education, entered in the workforce, uh, and things of that nature. As Jen had mentioned, she had uh, a lot of her professional experience in Toronto. I was in uh, Vancouver, so we had spent all our, our younger years here in London in terms of you know education, post-secondary, things of that nature, uh, first job experiences. But then we kind of branched out and, and went to our own uh, separate sectors and areas. Um, we really wanted to kind of bring the family back together and we really wanted to focus uh, and utilize the skills, uh, you know, the uh, experiences uh, independent that we had both collected over our years and, and bring that back to the family and, and really look at a family business. Um, so we did look at, you know, at the London market, we knew it very well. We were kind of, you know, uh, raised here. We, we weren't born here, but it feels like we were born and raised. London is home for us. So we really looked at the London market use what we knew about the market, about the consumers, about the community, because we're very community focused. And that's why we said, yeah, we're, you know, we're gonna focus on this business, this heritage renovations, which also ties, we recognize as a family, really, you know, uh, community focused uh, and, and, you know, community driven. So um, we really wanted, in addition to that, we really want to have a legacy business. Between Shannon and I and our independent families, um, you know, we've got five children under the age of eight. So we really wanted something that not only we, as brother and sister, could, you know, operate and grow, but that we could leave as a legacy to our children and foster that same uh, entrepreneurial passion that was, uh, you know, instilled in us at a young age. So that's what we've kind of been building the, the groundwork for over recent years. Um, uh, you know, heritage renovation specifically was the perfect fit for us as we have talked about our individual uh, you know, competencies, experience, and skill sets for Shannon and I to really harmonize. We both bring incredibly strong assets and abilities from our own areas and sectors, and we were really able to harmonize those perfectly to not only lead heritage renovations, but create, honestly, an explosive growth in the market, in the sector, and really change and shape that um, to really tailor the new needs of consumers um, work with manufacturers and their future developments and what they were looking for as well. Um, to give you an example of how, how we did that, when we first took over the business in 2016, uh, we started with a 5,000 square foot facility, and that's Shulman Warehouse. Uh, you know, within a year, we had to jump to 15,000 square feet uh, just to handle the capacity through different uh, strategic uh, changes that we were making. Um, and then recently, as last year in 2019, we had uh, our biggest kind of growth and expansion where we've entered into this beautiful 25,000 square foot facility that we're sitting in today. Um, and in that we boast a 3,500 square foot showroom. So our showroom now is almost as big as the operation, entire operation was when we took over. Um, and we're very proud of that fact, uh, not really just for the square footage, but what we can offer to the community and consumers by doing so. We can bring a lot of uh, new to market products here that are never seen before. We can give them a wide range of options that they might not have ever thought about, whether we're talking color, style, uh, raw materials, uh, you know, fiberglass, steel, different things like that. So we can really lay out all of your options from um, you know, 35 different manufacturers under one roof and really get them to touch and feel and experience it. Um, and that's where we, where we really want to focus. We will focus on the community, on the consumer, and experiencing um, you know, the excitement of the change of renovation, which I think is lacking in the space in the sector. Uh, we have over 100 million more projects here. Um, so through our hard work and dedication, we're now in a very good position where owners of the company were very proud of it. Um, every day we get to experience that entrepreneur, entrepreneurial passion that we spoke of and, and really translate to our consumers, our employees, and our team. Great, and I, you know, and, and, and I know what it's like to uh, work with family and uh, CCA to some extent. Uh, um, our president Jack McFadden, uh, there's there's a few McFaddens in the office. It's a family business itself, and uh, you know, I'm always curious uh, to how you know family-run businesses. Is there ever an off switch? You know, do you do you make promises to one another at you know holidays and we're going to sit down, you know, maybe other family members say, can we sit down and have a meal where we don't talk about heritage renovations, but. Uh, <laughs> It does no, come out whenever we're together. Um, it's funny, I think, as a as a brother sister duo, a lot of brother and sisters wouldn't be able to to make it work, maybe in the same way that James and I have. I think for us, one of the reasons that it's so successful is because 
as in how we were raised, we just think alike, we speak alike. It sounds crazy, but we can almost finish each other's sentences. But unlike a husband and wife team, at the end of the day, we separate, we go back to our own families, our own, you know, my husband, his wife, our children, and we're able to really unplug from that a little bit. Um, so it's it's really complementary um, in terms of our skill sets, able to have that time, that synchronicity, but I'll also walk away from it at the end of the day. Great. Well, thanks for sharing, guys. I love the story and uh, really thrilled to hear about all the successes you've had in the growth. Um, and I also know, having visited uh, London and, and your place of business over the years, there's no denying the fact that you guys are Consumer Choice Award winners. Um, you know, approaching you know any building you've had for any expansion, it seems to be the CCA logo also seems to be expanded. And you know, we really appreciate that and seeing it on your vehicles. You know, but I, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, why is the Consumer Choice Award so important to your business, and what does it mean for you? So as a company, we have won many awards. I would have to say the CCA is our favorite award. Don't tell the others. Um, for us, the reason it's so important is because it is a national award. It is the most um, high profile award in our opinion. Um, it's nice because it does um, cover a variety of industries. So you're able to, as a consumer, and I've even done it myself, is to say, who's the CC winner in this product that I need to, that I need to do for myself personally? Um, and I, I look to that because I know that in my industry, other industries that I know, it is always the top tier company that's winning it. So you have a very thorough vetting process. Um, you have a lot of um, high profile member, or not members, but winners of the award. So, you know, it is something that carries a lot of weight within our community. When we first uh, purchased Heritage um, in 2016, we had, you know, some decals around um, that were, you know, 30 inches high or something like that. Um, we really saw the power of the Consumer Choice Award. We started utilizing it immediately as a, a, one of our key differentiators in our marketplace. Um, we increased with the signage. So we have it on all of our trucks, our trailers, all of our vehicles. Um, in our old facility, uh, we had you know six foot signs, custom signs designed for us that were so heavy they had to have a, a special wood background to keep them from not blowing away in the wind. Um, and we had those along the side. And I remember the first day driving up and saying, holy moly, I mean, that just looks incredible. Um, so we, we started out that way. Um, we really integrated it throughout every aspect of our business. If you call into our business and you get a voicemail, it says, you know, thank you for reaching Heritage Renovations, your Consumer Choice Award winner. And I list every year out because we're so proud that we won it every year. Um, we have it on our business cards. We have it on bid tenders that we submit. Um, we have it on our uh, our building. So on our building right now, we have um, decals across the front that are also six feet um, in height. Um, they go across our main windows and our street is one of the most traffic streets in all of London. Um, we also have in our showroom, we have uh, a feature wall, which has um, all of our CCA awards on it, as well as you know, some product pictures, some Google views, that type of thing. So it's really something that we um, have a lot of pride toward. Um, we have been utilizing it in every piece of marketing that we have. So whether it is a magazine ad, a billboard, a radio ad, everything is always your Consumer Choice Award winner because we're so proud of that. It's such a key differentiator from us because no one else has that in the market. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone familiar with the CCAs knows that it is only really that top tier company that wins it. And for us to be able to say we've won it every year since the category has existed in our marketplace it is a huge um, boost for us as a business and it's something that we utilize in every single um, sales or potential sales situation that we're in. Well, thanks. That's, uh, you know, a lot of great information to pass along to anyone else watching this in terms of how, you know, you've really uh, in, you know, embraced this award. And, you know, a couple of things you mentioned, and I, I don't need to remind you this, but, you know, I always appreciate hearing uh, winners share is that they recognize that it's more than just a feather in the cap. Uh, it is such a great differentiator. Uh, you know, our award is only given or designated to one company in each category uh, and it's solely based on as you know you may have done your research when you uh, came to heritage renovations well you know they're already award winners how do we continue to win this well it's nothing that you can do uh, 
with Consumer Choice Award. This is solely based on your own reputation in the marketplace. Uh, so that really speaks volumes that you know, you're able to con you not only keep that level of excellence, uh, but really grow the company as well. And it's something that James and I think about all the time. We're just like, we have to keep on top. We have to keep winning this because in the past four years since we've owned Heritage, we've seen other companies and I mean, companies can add and flow, you know, the service that they provide last year may not be the same as the service they provide this, this year. So for us, it's something that we consciously think about, we talk about it on a regular basis, you know, we've got to keep pushing, we've got to keep doing better and better. And, you know, no one remembers yesterday, they remember tomorrow or today. Um, so for us, we always have that in our mind is, you know, we need to keep pushing, we need to keep putting this to work because it's so important for us. Um, and again, it's something that we utilize in so many different ways. But if there's any other ways that you can think that we can use it, just let us know. We're happy to do that. Okay, we will. <laughs> well, you know what? And and that's a whole other component is, you know, the motivation factor of it as well. Right. And, and a lot of businesses have shared that, you know, it takes a long time to build a reputation, but it doesn't take a long time to ruin a reputation. Right. Uh -huh. So as a, as a motivator, that's that's great as well. Um, last question for you both. So. You know, you came into Heritage Renovations that was already award winner, but for no matter whether you inherited the, you know, an award winning company or, you, you know, your, your company wins it for the first time, at some point, someone's introduced to CCA for the first time. If you were to give, uh, you know, convey one message about CCA to a first time winner, what would it be? You know, I think the, the message that we always kind of communicated, we've, we've spoken many times with, uh, you know, new recipients or multiple year winners at the award ceremonies, or just talk to members of the community and different business groups around. We always speak very highly of the award, and, you know, we always want to say to them, it's such a huge, um, it's such a huge honor to the company and to the team of those companies uh, in that market space to be uh, recognized as a winner, because it really, um, you know, it really recognizes and solidifies the dedication that you have to consumer focus that, that engage you to get that way. Um, this is hands down the most notable award in Canada, as you know, Shannon had uh, stated earlier. It's recognized amongst consumers, it's recognized amongst uh, you know, business leaders in the market uh, and our community as a whole. So it's very, very important, um, uh, you know, as, as, as that of the space. Um, one key thing I would say, honestly, on a daily basis, um, this award, uh, you know, can really help when you're dealing with client engagement, when you're working on a project, working on a sale. Um, this is such a, a recognized and uh, symbol of excellence in the community, in business, in uh, these markets that this can really be a deciding factor for that consumer when you're up against multiple companies, um, when they're you know, sending out multiple quotes, or even like Shannon says, when you're looking for somebody in the space for a product or service and you just don't have a friend to relay or, or provide a referral, you come to uh, the organization of CCA and you'll actually find you know, approved contractors on there. So it's really um, the recognition that you you know have committed to consumer and client focus in the market space your dedication hard work but also um you know like i said being that deciding factor in the market the separator of um, really you know uh, being that top tier company so um it's recognized uh, as the top tier in each market and, and you know i really feel amongst consumers and we see it on a daily basis they're able to uh, recognize that Great. Well, thanks so much, uh, James and Shannon. I've appreciated your time and everything that you've shared today, as I'm sure everyone watching has as well. Um, and whether it's a first-time winner that we just you know, sort of talked to here at the end or multi-year winners who are watching this as well, some great tips and advice. You know, you know everyone, everyone needs reminders on how, on how to really use this award or embrace this award. And Shannon, you asked if there's any other tips we'll send your way. So if you're watching this and you've got some things that you, know, you do, uh, let's you know share them with me and we'll continue to spread this message to all the other winners That's one of the great things about this network of winners. We have coast to coast uh, You know is our ability to be a resource to you all with the information we we gain from one another so uh, Really really uh, thankful to you both for uh, taking your time to share more about your company uh, The growth you've had and what this award has meant to heritage renovations So James and Shannon on behalf of everyone. Uh, thanks so much for your time here today Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great rest of the day. Great. And thanks to all for watching. Uh, you know, appreciate you taking the time to watch another episode of Q&CCA and look forward to uh, sharing the next one with you all. Thanks again and have a great day.